This recipe is so delicious that it's been chosen as one of the foods for the coronation festivities. We are going to show you every step to make Nadia Hussein's coronation aubergine. You'll need two large aubergines. Slice off the tops of the aubergines and cut lengthwise into one centimeter slices. We've added an extra step that really improves the taste of the aubergine. Lay the slices on a grill or paper towel. Generously salt both sides and let sit for a half hour. This process removes some of the moisture from the aubergine, which tempers the strong taste. We always do this step when cooking aubergine. Smash the garlic cloves to make them easier to peel. Finely mince the garlic. The smaller the better. Grate a small onion. In a small bowl, measure out 225 milliliters of olive oil. Add the garlic, onion, paprika and salt. Then mix well and set aside. If you're enjoying this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps our channel. We made the dressing in Nadia's recipe. But we noticed that our dressing wasn't smooth like in the photo. So we added a new step. Blending the recipe. <laughs> Blending the dressing. What is it? Good lord. Three words. It's three words. So we added a new step. Blending the dressing. Slice, then finely mince the garlic. We love our beautiful cutting board sent to us from Stinson Studios. You'll find a link to their store in the video description below. Measure out two tablespoons of chutney and finely chop. You can use store-bought or homemade. We'll show you how to make homemade chutney later in the video. As well as being an ingredient for the dressing, the chutney is a delicious complement to the dish. So serve some of the chunky chutney on the side. Add Greek yogurt to a small bowl, followed by the curry powder, garlic, salt, and chutney. Mix well. Add two to five tablespoons of whole milk to loosen the mixture. The amount of milk you need depends on how thick your yogurt is. Even after mixing, the dressing was quite chunky. To give it a smoother texture, like in the photo of Nadia's recipe, we blended it with a hand blender. This made the sauce nice and creamy. The recipe calls for fried onions to be sprinkled on top. We weren't sure how to make the fried onions, but we did some research and found this technique. Slice half a medium onion and separate the pieces. We love our Morgan's Chef Knife, sent to us by Vostid Cutlery. Add the canola oil to a pot that is deep, not wide. Heat on medium until the oil reaches 180 degrees Celsius. If you don't have a thermometer, wait three minutes and drop in a slice of onion. If the onion does this, the oil is ready for frying. Turn off the heat, then carefully add the onion. Once you are sure there's no risk of the oil overflowing, you can turn the heat back on to medium. Stir the onions once in a while. When they're brown like this, they're ready. It should take about five minutes. Remove from the heat and spoon onto a paper towel to absorb some of the excess oil. Nadia, if you're watching, please tell us in the comments if we got it right. After you have tempered the aubergines for a half hour, rinse each slice to remove the salt and pat dry. Set aside to finish drying while you prepare your griddle pan. Heat the pan on medium. You can also grill the eggplant on a barbecue. Stir the marinade and brush onto each aubergine slice. You should make the marinade on the same day as the aubergine, 
because if you let the marinade sit in the fridge for too long, the taste of the garlic becomes overpowering. Grill the slices in batches, cooking each side for approximately two minutes. You'll know they're ready when the flesh looks soft and it has dark grill marks. Remove the slices, trying not to break them, and set aside. Now prepare the coriander. Remove the leaves from the stems and chop the leaves. You can freeze the stems to use in another dish. Our bonus recipe is still to come, so keep watching! All your ingredients are ready. Now it's time to bring it all together. To plate the aubergine, overlap the slices and spoon on some of the sauce, reserving the rest to serve at the table along with the mango chutney. Sprinkle on the fried onions, raisins, and coriander. You can also serve more of these at the table. Dig in and enjoy the wonderful mix of flavors of Coronation Aubergine. This recipe calls for mango chutney. Since a coronation is a rare event, we decided to make our own and show you how we made it. We used frozen mango. If you're able to find ripe, fresh mangoes, they work equally well. Carefully open the cardamom pods with a knife to remove the seeds. Using seeds instead of ground spice gives a stronger taste. You can use black or green cardamom. Gently toast the cardamom, cumin, and coriander seeds on medium heat. Toast until they begin to change color, about a minute. Jiggle the pan a little to toast evenly. Once toasted, pour into a mortar along with the chili flakes and grind with a pestle until fine. Set aside. Peel and finely grate a clove of garlic. We love to use a microplane. It makes it much easier. Cut off a two centimeter piece of ginger. We keep our ginger in a bag in the freezer. It freezes very well and doesn't change the taste. The easiest way to peel fresh or frozen ginger is with a small spoon. Finely grate the ginger. Add apple cider vinegar to a pot. You can also use white wine vinegar. Then add the sugar. Mix well to dissolve, then bring to a rolling boil. Add the garlic, ginger, and salt, and mix well. Add the mango, followed by the spice mix, and stir to combine. Reduce the heat and simmer for about 45 minutes. While the chutney is cooking, slice up some red chili. The amount you use will depend on how spicy you like your chutney. When the chutney has been cooking for 35 minutes, add the chili pepper. You can make this recipe in advance and store it in the fridge. Remove from the heat and store in a jar. You'll use the chutney in the dressing and you can also serve it on the side. This recipe was chosen as an official coronation recipe. It's posted in the toolkit for coronation celebrations. If you enjoyed this video, you'll also love these.